Hi, I'm Cynthia, founder of The Brave Zone. Where I come from, uncertainty is an everyday thing. As I was growing up and leading businesses in Indonesia, I thought that the country did not really have a good system for its citizens. Traffic was chaotic, social system was chaotic, and whenever disasters happened, we never really had a good way of handling things. Even now, with the coronavirus pandemic, I can't say that I feel certain about the safety of my family and friends. But if you ask me whether or not I would have wanted to live elsewhere, in a more developed country, I would say no. In fact, the blessings that have come from living in uncertainty has prepared me now with the skills I needed to create more certainty in my life. Living through uncertainty comes with hidden blessings, and in this video, I'd like to share just three of them. And if you want to talk about how you can empower your team to appreciate and overcome this difficult time, please book a discovery call with me on my website, thebravezone.com. The first blessing is the realization that you can really only focus on what you can control. And that there are actually quite a bit that you can control to help improve your own situation. But complaining about external things won't help. In fact, it wastes your time and distracts you from more productive thinking. Let's say you work away from your family and during this pandemic, you have not been able to see them for months. You can complain endlessly about how ridiculous it is. You can be depressed or you can realize that this situation isn't going away anytime soon and start planning a transition where you and your family can be together again, even if you have to be quarantined somewhere for 14 days to make that change. The second blessing is the realization of what's really important in life. When things are good, we spend time chasing what we don't have, our dreams, our ideal income, and our aspirations. But when things get uncertain, at least for a while, we are forced to choose what is important in our lives. Do we really need to have more, more, more? Or is it time to say, this is enough? And for now, focus on the people we love and the people who need our love. It may be a time for us to choose between things and people between serving ourselves and serving others. You know, it's nice to have an abundant mindset and say all things are possible and there's enough choices for everyone. But in hard times, sometimes being forced to choose can help us reconnect with our true values. And finally, living through uncertainty gives you a more resilient mindset. And this mindset will help you create more certainty in the future because it will equip you with the way of thinking and the skills to face even bigger challenges. There are, of course, other blessings that come from living through uncertainty, such as creativity, resourcefulness, gratitude, self-awareness, and more. But you can only access them if you're willing to open yourself up and think in a different way. If you're set on seeing only the negative, I'm afraid you will never be able to enjoy them in your life. If you think about it, even before coronavirus, uncertainty was everywhere. In our work, in our lives, in our society. But this pandemic has just made uncertainty bigger more visible, and it has hit everyone at the same time. In a way, we're lucky because now we're all in this together, and hopefully it has brought us together as a community. I just want to let you know that I am thinking about you, and I am making flexibilities in my own business to do what I can for the people I serve. If you found this helpful and want to discuss more about how to help people overcome their fears of uncertainty and how to remain resilient through this difficult time, please book a discovery call with me at thebravezone.com. Thank you.